What's up my dudes? Here's part two of the Dutch Village adventure where we find out if I am a witch. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every single week and it helps me a whole bunch. Now, let's get to the action. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Dutch Village. In just a moment, we'll be getting started with the next performance of our Dutch folk dance. But before that, I'd like to tell you all a little bit about our dancers here, the costumes you see us all wearing, and the organ to which they'll be performing to today. Now the name of our organ is the Golden Angel, or Haren Angel, as it is pronounced in Dutch, and it gets its name from the little golden angel you can see depicted at the top of its hand-carved facade. It was a high kickstart dance. We don't see any flying wooden shoes. Usually, our dancers are pretty good about keeping their shoes on, but it has been known to happen, so please keep a lookout.
Thank you. Okay. Well, we'll get started learning the dance. And if anyone else in the stand, see how much fun we're having. And you decide you'd like to come down and join us, feel free to. So, the name is called Mecha Handen. It means with your hands. That's how we're going to get started today with three big claps. Ready? Clap, clap, clap. Then, we're going to put our hands on our hips like a good Dutchman always does. And we're going to stomp our feet three times. Stomp, stomp, stomp. We're going to take our right foot, put it out in front. And we're going to kick it around to the side. Do the same, put it out in front and around to the side. Then we're going to do some toe taps. The first three on our right foot. Tap, tap, tap. Again on the left foot. Tap, tap, tap. Now here comes the best part of our dance. We're going to do the Dutch hokey pokey and turn ourselves around. You can get extra creative if you'd like. Maybe link arms with a partner and do si do or take the hand of your partner, twirl them around like our dancers did in their dance. Anything to make it more fun. Okay. Here we go. Clap, clap, clap. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Right foot kick. Left foot kick. Right foot tap, tap, tap. Left foot tap, tap, tap. And turn yourself around. Big bad boys. Look how big that is. It's insane. Everyone who danced got one of these sick little stickers here, honorary Dutch dancers. So, as you can see, my moves were pretty freaky fresh. So, <laughs> I know, stop. I just colored and cut out and glued my own Swedish plate. Now, you always use usually like basically like blue in these designs. If you have any stuff from the Netherlands, you can look. In other news, my family's left me, and I found this, some kind of a slot playing, like you throw these little discs and they go into little things down there, and I'm gonna try it. So it's called salt Helen or something. You get 30 discs, and you have to get these little things through these little gates there. So let's see how I do. Oh, that's close. Okay, no. Oh, this is really hard. What is that one stuck in there? That one, does that one count? Let's say that one counts. Come on. Big money. Oh, I got through. Wow, that's fun. Okay, yeah, that is that one. I come out and I find these fools just hanging out by the water in Europe, living their best lives. Look, I made a plate, Mom. It took a lot of clay and I had to bake it in the oven. It was a whole thing. Whoa, what do they call it? Delware? Delfware? Delfware. Delfware. There were a lot of colors there, but I'm like, it's a blue and white thing. You know what I'm saying? Just trying Good to trick me up. I know it's only supposed to be blue. My back's killing me. I made a poplar. I mean, overall, this place is cute. Look at me. I'm hanging out with some ducks by the water. I just played a disc game. I made freaking pottery. There's rides. Yeah, overall, it's a cute little thing. Um, different ages would enjoy it, I would guess. We're still going to go on the carousel, look in some cute shops, maybe play one of those duck games over there, but we'll see. We'll never know where the day takes us when we're in Europe, you know what I mean? So they will probably have to wait. Please steal all these bells that just stand here. I'll just put them on there, but they're going to have to wait for the bells to come down. So I'm going to go On the daily. <laughs> so if they weighed more than 110 pounds, they were a witch? Less. Oh, less. So we can get on the scale and you can tell us if we're a witch? Mm -hmm. You hit that. 
I'm yeah. yeah. So you guys and that. I'm ready. This is my moment. Oh, good. I think you're safe, but I'm let's just see. <laughs> That wasn't good. I could change my name to something, like an enemy. You are innocent. Darn it. Would you like a certificate of innocence? Yes, please. So your Dutch weight is 164 pounds. Love that. In good old Deutschland. That's Germany, though. So why, how is that? That's kind of a weird thing. Right? Isn't it? You can be a witch anywhere. <laughs> right, so now I can become a witch. Now this is the time to become a witch because I have innocence and they'll never suspect me. They'll be like, well, we literally saw you hex that person. It's like, yeah, but I have the certificate that says I didn't do it. You can um, sign right here and then I'll stamp it, I mean, seal it for you. Cool beans. Where do I sign it? Right there. How exciting. Thank you. Oh, wow. How official. So did this demonstration get a lot busier, like, towards the end of the season, towards fall? Oh, look at this. Certificate of Innocence of Witchcraft. Wow. Look at me. Look at this. Not a witch. Not a blessing. Look guys, am I a witch as of right now? No. But even so, it was crazy to think that back in the day, people could be on there and be accused of being a witch. And like, I felt that in the moment. I was like, if I was in Salem right now, I could be about to die. It was kind of crazy. Like, I don't know. It was really cool though. We've got a little museum back here with a bunch of artifacts, like the plates I made. Who did it better? Um, I know, it was me. You don't have to tell me. All these different little things in here. Let's take a little keep over here. The East India Company. I know that because I watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Look at this clothing. Roman. Hmm. A bunch of little dolls here. Look at that. Not terrifying at all. Get set, go! Just trust us, it'll be good, it'll be fun. All right, that's it for today's video. Uh, I almost have battery gone, so we're just gonna, and now we're gonna go to the shops and check out some more things. But if you like this video, be sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every single week and it helps me a whole bunch. Subscribe.
Samsara.